I remember hearing about her and how like strict she was. I was in the lower math class, so I was like, oh, maybe I'm not that good at it anyway. She was more on the quiet side, more reserved, but she was very self-motivated, a very independent learner. She worked herself up and she became more confident. It became easy, so then I'm like thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't be in the lower math. And I'm a little competitive, so I was like, this is definitely my bread and butter. What I really am amazed is that she entered into a career that is predominantly male, because back then, 20 years ago, I tried very hard to get the girls to be more into the math. To design a building, you really need three design teams, which is one is the architect, the structural engineer, and the mechanical engineer. The structural engineer does the skeleton of the building. Hudson Yards, it's a development on the west side of Manhattan. The biggest development since like Rockefeller Center. Hudson Yards will change the landscape of New York. There's a new subway station. It's creating a whole new neighborhood. I've been the project manager to do the structural design since the beginning. It takes a huge amount of people and a lot of teamwork. I've ended up in a career that I love and I'm good at it. And so I just feel really lucky to have it. And I've always like registered how I got here. There's just certain people along the way. I would like to thank Diane Weir for um, uh, it's crazy. I guess confidence in math and kind of being the the tough teacher, I guess. class was so critical for me because it showed me my ability in math. You made it so easy that I was like, oh, I got left behind. I can get ahead. I'm so proud of what she has accomplished. I am so honored. She's so, so, so 